I do this very professionally. I, 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 like I always say, I treat you like a family. Jose Andahar knows his way around, driving the roads of Brooklyn and the Bronx and Washington Heights. But he says the cap on new licenses is hurting neighborhoods and his livery livelihood. Transport people to the hospital, to the movie theater there, to the airport, whatever they want to go, both in a sustainable way. The plates they're calling for are license plates. Local livery car drivers head to the steps of City Hall. They want the city to change the current cap on livery car licenses. But here we are, these minority businesses, these small businesses are getting dismantled. That has affected transit options for riders who depend on the local neighborhood car services, says Jose Altamirano. His base is in East Harlem. Most of our neighborhood, uh, minority neighborhoods, deal in cash, they need us. And, and it's, you know, it's terrible that a lot of times when, especially if it's weather or anything, and I'm like, I don't have, please call back in 10 minutes, please call back in 10 minutes, and we're forced to do this dance, unfortunately, when we were never the cause of it. They're calling on the current administration at the Taxi and Limousine Commission to rethink a policy put in place in 2018. The former administration capped new for hire vehicle licenses in order to curb congestion and deal with a surge in cars from ride hail apps. But these local livery operators say new drivers can't start up to replace those who've left or went out of business. We're not looking for a specific number. We're looking for a study that reflects the reality that we're living in our communities. A spokesperson for the Taxi and Limousine Commission says TLC is currently considering whether to issue any new licenses. We're taking the concerns of all stakeholders into account, including drivers, passengers, and base owners. Raul Rivera says the city should look at the TLC itself. Any agency in the city should work for the New Yorker, not against them. So these local uh, livery car drivers and base operators are drawing a distinction between um, their operations and uh, the cars that uh, Lyft and Uber put on the roads. Uh, the, the policy does require that the TLC review it every, uh, twice a year, and that will happen again uh, in August. One way around it is to put a, a wheelchair, uh, an accessible uh, vehicle uh, on the road. Outside City Hall, Greg Mock, PIX11 News.